The NFL Draft is in five days, so let's go back and grade the 2023 NFL Draft. With the first overall pick, the Carolina Panthers selected Bryce Young. But looking at how he played and how other quarterbacks played from this draft, I bet they wish they could redo this pick. C.J. Stroud and Anthony Richardson are probably going to have better careers than him, and for that reason, I am giving this pick a C+. C.J. Stroud was the second overall pick, and there's no explanation needed. This pick is an A+. With the third overall pick, the Texans traded back up to the top three to select Will Anderson Jr. And looking back, this was a very smart move, as Will Anderson Jr. was a great defensive player. And this pick gets an A from me. With the fourth overall pick, the Indianapolis Colts selected Anthony Richardson. Anthony had two pretty serious injuries early on and missed more than half the season. For that reason, I'd currently give a grade for him, but if I had to, I would give it a B+. With the fifth overall pick, the Seattle Seahawks selected Devin Witherspoon. Witherspoon is already looking like a top corner in this league, and for that reason, I'm giving it an A. With the sits pit, the Cardinals traded back up to the first round to select Paris Johnson Jr. Paris Johnson Jr. did a great job at tackle this season, and I do believe he will improve. For that reason, I'm giving this pick an A-. Tyree Wilson was the seventh pick off the board, and he did not have a great season whatsoever. He did not live up to the hype that Matt Crosby and Tyree Wilson were supposed to have. And for that reason, I'm giving this pick a C-. B. John Robinson is a great player, that's why he was selected 8th overall. But selecting a running back in the top 8 never made sense to me. As we have seen great running backs come out of the draft later. For that reason, Bijan gets a B- for me. With the ninth pick, the Eagles selected Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter basically just fell to the relapse. And he had a great season, and for that reason, I'm giving that an A. Darnell Wright was the Nets pick. This pick was kind of a shock as Peter Skaronski was still on the board, and he really did not have a great season. I'm giving this pick a C+. With the 11th pick in the draft, the Titans selected Peter Skaronski. Just like Darnell Wright, he really had a slow start to the season, and for that reason, I am giving him a C. I do believe him and Wright will improve, though. With the 12th pick, the Lions selected Jameer Gibbs in a very shocking pick at the time. But looking back, it definitely seems like the right one. I don't know if this is just me, but I would rather have Jameer Gibbs than B. John Robinson. I love this player. I love this pick. He did a lot for this Lions offense, and for that reason, I'm giving this pick an A-. minus. With the 13th pick, the Packers selected Lucas Van Ness. At the time, this pick was also a shocker, but looking back, it was a great pick. He slowly made his way into the rotation for the Packers, and I do believe that role will improve next year. I'm giving this pick a B. The Steelers selected Broderick Jones with the 14th pick, and looking back, this was one of the best picks that they could have made, as Broderick Jones had a great season for the Steelers, and for that reason, I'm giving this pick a B. Will McDonald at the time was a reach, and looking back, is a terrible pick. He had a hard time finding his way into the defense, and I don't believe he is a great player. I'm giving this pick a D-. What do you guys think about these grades? Thanks, guys.